Well, guys, former imprisoned pastor Saeed Abedini, uh, many of you may remember him. Uh, he was the pastor that was imprisoned in Iran. Uh, he was sentenced to, um, I believe it was at least 12 years in prison. It might have been a little bit longer than that, but uh, he was in prison back in 2012. He was just released last year in 2016 as part of, well, what turned into the whole hostage situation where the Obama administration had reportedly paid ransom to the Iranians uh, in exchange for uh, the four uh, U.S. Uh, detainees, which included uh, Pastor Saeed Abedini. Well, he is unfortunately facing some more jail time, not for preaching the word of God in Iran, but for apparently violating the restraining order placed on him by his ex-wife. That's right. After Saeed returned home, uh, there were lots of problems that came out about the marriage. And of course, I think this was happening long before uh, Saeed went to Iran, before he was in prison. And guys, he was brutally beaten there. He was tortured. Uh, it, it was just horrific what the man had to go through. Um, I don't know the personal extents of their marriage with him and his wife, or former his ex-wife, uh, Nagmi um, uh, Abedini. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing her first name correct there. Uh, but there were alle um, allegations that came out that there were um, potential uh, physical abuse to her in the relationship. I, I don't know for sure. Uh, yeah, someone's asked me on Periscope. Yeah, he did. Um, he was released um, at the uh, uh, fall of 2016, I believe it was. Late summer uh, into the fall of 2016. Uh, he is looking, however, of facing some more jail time again for violating the restraining order uh, that was placed on him. Um, and, and according to the order, I mean, it looks like uh, the local judge in Idaho had sentenced Saeed to 180 days in jail, but he ended up suspending all but five of those days. He said that um, those he will work off through community service. So uh, Abedini, who is very active on his Facebook page, has not commented on his guilty plea or new sentence. Um, he says, quote, this was a personal matter that I won't share in public. Abedini told the Idaho statesman, he says, I will write something in my book in the future. So uh, he's only looking at facing a few days now in jail. He will have to make up the rest of it through community service. I do feel real bad for the family, for him, uh, for his kids. Uh, they went four years without seeing him when he was in that Iranian prison. Uh, so whatever happened between him and his wife, obviously, it's just uh, uh, it's heartbreaking to see their Marriage ended up in a divorce. You know, four years uh, with what they went through, I, you know, I, I can't imagine. But you know what? Be in prayer for both of them anyway. Um, you never know what God may do. Being, you know, tortured for as long as he was, you know, he's still dealing with probably dealing with the mental effects of that uh, and everything that he went through, being beaten, um, being tortured by the Iranians, um, and, and all like that. So, um, uh, so very sad, uh, very sad to see that it's it's gone to this level with him and his ex-wife. But be in prayer for him, guys. God can restore things as well, okay? This is my channel, CardsFan480. I'm here on both YouTube and also on Periscope. So please feel free to subscribe if you guys like what you see. I'll continue bringing you all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates as they become available. Guys, as always, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so today. Let today be the day of salvation for you Okay, you can accept Christ into your heart as Lord and Savior, be forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God, have everlasting life in heaven. And just as I'm getting the heart flow on Periscope right now, which I do appreciate it, you can give your heart, your personal heart to Jesus Christ today. You can make that decision. All right, guys, so let me know. I would love to pray with you. I really would. Um, many people have been led to the Lord through my YouTube videos. So I hope that you will be another one of those as well. All right, guys, if you guys don't mind as well, share these videos with your friends and family on social media. Help me spread the word about what it is that I'm trying to do here, bring you guys the news in the current world events from a Christian conservative perspective. I'll be tying in all kinds of biblical prophecies surrounding a lot of these events we see taking place here in the last days. And I will continue here at this channel. The main goal, share, spread the love of Jesus Christ to a world right now that desperately needs it more than ever. Um, somebody's asking me on Periscope right now, YouTube name, same name uh, is here as Periscope, CardsFan480. So just, if you want to look for me on YouTube, guys, just go to YouTube, type in the search, CardsFan480, that's C-A-R-D-S-F-A-N 480, and my channel will pop up right there, and you can subscribe to me 
on there as well and share that around. Help me spread the word, guys. All right. I'll be back with more. Thanks to everyone on Periscope who watched this live as it was recorded. I'll be back with more. Take care. Be safe out there. God bless. I'll talk to you guys soon.